low dive for about a year now. Heather Prince live uh, with how uh, School Street Gallery is celebrating this special anniversary. Hey, Heather. Yeah, and good morning. That's right, School Street Gallery. They offer a lot of amazing and local artists here. I'm with one of them. Introduce yourself, Bill. Uh, Bill Polson. All right, let's talk about this. You do a lot of creative furniture that's displayed here in the art gallery. Mm -hmm. Right. This is a wine cabinet here. Um, Can we show actually, this, off really this is actually a collaboration with my wife because we both do stained glass work. Okay. This is a wine cabinet appropriate for Lodi. Uh, like I say, I did the cabinet. My wife did the, the glass work. Um, it's black walnut. It's um, got a little feature here. I like to put a little turquoise in my work sometimes if you can catch this down here. So every artist kind of has their own little signature thing. Is that your signature exactly. thing? Exactly. Yeah. A little bit of turquoise or agate sometimes, like in that coffee table over there, you can see the uh, agates. Um, so that's kind of what I do. All right, I, I love do. it. It's beautiful. And with your wife, Bobette, this morning, you do a lot of fused glass I that do. is displayed like here. Fused glass. Yeah. Um, one piece, just artistic, no function. Uh, I call it my anemone um, right here. I love it. It reminds Thank me you. of the ocean, so that's perfect. Yeah, right. Thank you. Absolutely. And you had another piece that you wanted yeah, to show yeah. off over um, here. Some were uh, pretty just to put up, and then uh, also are function. This is gorgeous. It's very modern. Yeah, yeah. I, I, when I started doing fuse glass, I started doing more abstract work with blocks of color. Um, yeah, so it was fun to do, and the little box. and. A lot of beautiful fused glass, the furniture, and of course, we have some photographs and paintings. And now I love this, Michael. You will yeah. take a painting, or I'm sorry, you'll take a photograph, mm -hmm. and then you'll kind of paint a piece from that photograph. Correct, yeah. I kind of focus on forgotten landscapes and zoom in on my favorite parts and blow it up in color and paint it. I love this. Now, you guys feature all pretty much local artists that can showcase their work They're here. All local, yes. Coming up this Friday, there's a art hop. Who will be mm -hmm. featured on that? Uh, Bill will be the featured artist this month. Okay, and how does that art hop work? Uh, it's from six to eight, and it's all the local galleries downtown Lodi, and uh, we're here open, and a lot of the artists are here to show their work. Okay, and congratulations. One year this month that you guys have been here, the experience has been pretty well, I'm sure, in downtown yeah. Lodi. Yeah, it's exciting. All right, awesome. I love this favorite piece, Paige. Oh, it's always my husband's, of course. His paintings and photography is all over our house, and it's a nice piece. Yeah, I want to show one more piece before we have to wrap of Michael's house. I loved the photos. The first thing that I saw when I walked in, the lone bird, and then, of course, the painting of just a little significant piece to him of that. How cool is this? It's beautiful. All right, you can come on down to the uh, gallery here. 123 South School Street in Lodi, downtown Lodi. This Friday, come and check out their art hop, see some of their local artists, and maybe even purchase a piece for your home. Yeah, Fantastic. very cool. School Street Gallery there.